everybody's going crazy about you, baby. Crazy about the baby. See, I'm just free and school. That's the way. That's the way I should be. I'm, uh, I'm in Surrey. I spend a lot of time in Surrey, don't I? <laughs> it's Surrey. I've just stopped for my uh, lunch. I do a lot of mileage down here on our uh, development test bikes for Royal Enfield. Um, for some reason, <laughs> there's a lot of interesting things down here. There's always somewhere nice to stop for, for lunch. You know, I'm at some Red Hill Aerodrome today. Um, Red Hill Aerodrome. Uh, she's just down there. We'll walk down there in a second. Um, was. Uh, set up in the mid 1930s, it was a um, a flying club in those days, you know, 1934, 1935, and also Imperial, Imperial Airlines uh, based themselves from here. As a um, instead of uh, they moved from um, what would it have been um, Croydon in those days, yeah, they came and used this uh, airfield as well. Uh, but in the war, of course, Second World War, this became RAF Red Hill. And uh, it was a really important airfield, you know, it was originally a satellite station of um, Kenley, which is not far to the north, and then later on in the 40s was a satellite station for um, Biggin Hill. Um, probably most famous is, I mean, they had all kinds of aircraft based from here in the war and flew from here, um, but mostly Hurricanes, Hawker Hurricanes. As the airfield today, it's still used, as you can see, commercial airline. Uh, commercial airfield with a new control tower over there in the centre. Uh, if you come down here on your bike, like I do, great cafe right here, and you can watch the aircraft coming in and out. So, it's a great place to spend a few hours. A lot of the original hangars are still here, as you can see, which is great. There's quite a few original buildings, one or two um, pillboxes around, and um, of air raid shelters and so forth and some of these hangars you can't get in them unless you know somebody obviously but you can see through the windows they've got some interesting aircraft this one here see there's a tiger moth in here i don't know if you can see this hopefully you can which is quite quite interesting but you know it's a nice place to stop for for lunch i come here quite often um, even if I've only got a bit of tea left in my flask, I'll come and drink it here, sitting on the grass somewhere. Not the original buildings, but the new ones too, of course. Not the original stuff. And down along the approach road, which is just down there, there's a whole bunch of uh, original hangars. And it's nice to see there's a lot of uh, aerospace and um, aircraft, aircraft industry still based from here. <coughs> so if you're into sort of thing. See the buildings? See them? So if you're into that sort of thing, well worth coming for a cup of tea. Um, on the build-up to D-Day this was an important place. They kept a lot of the supplies here ready for the, uh, the invasion during D-Day, including 200 fighter aircraft ready to support the uh, troops, you know, as they landed in France. Um, quite how they kept them hidden from the Luftwaffe, flying overhead all the all the time, I have no idea, but they did. 200 fighters from here. And uh, as well as the RAF, you know, during the war, there were um, early on Polish airmen here, Canadians, Americans, and then finally back to the, the British RAF. Interesting. No, it's, it's, it's still got a lot of its atmosphere, you know, because there's still all these aircraft flown um, from this place. Which is nice. Yeah, super. And I'm glad they've looked after some of the original buildings. Oh, I can really show you my bike then. Have I done that already? I hope not. <laughs> it's parked just there. Yeah, interesting. Anyhow. I've just finished lunch, so I'm going to hop back on my bike. And uh, head north again, back home to Warwick. It's quite a jaunt to come here. <laughs> Do it every day, but, you know. That's what I get paid for. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, come down and see Red Hill. If you're on your bike, somewhere good to stop for a cuppa. And uh, I see there's bike clubs, not bi well, bicycles. I've seen bicycle clubs arriving while I've been here this morning. No other motorbikes apart from me. 
but it would be a good place to stop and uh, your bike is good and secure here as well it's nice and safe while you go for a cuppa um, yeah so that's about it uh, all, all that's for me for now and I'll talk uh, what's that oh my beard yeah yeah I lost it I went we went to a 40s weekend um, just a couple of days ago um, at the Silver Valley Railway Kidderminster I put some stuff on one of my Instagram sites and uh, Facebook so you'll have seen them if you follow me on there and uh, yeah kept the tosh for an RAF uniform so it's quite apt to come in here today and I think I'm gonna keep it for a while I've got another one this weekend hopefully if we can get away for a couple of hours so I kept kept this I think it's quite smart what do you think hmm clean shaven yeah <laughs> anyhow all for me for now and <laughs> I'll talk to you soon all the best bye bye